Not the most Instagrammable of all recipes, but I guarantee this is delicious. Lutung Bahai, Lutung Provincia, Lutung Dampa, Lutung Bahai Kubo, and I'm sure you like it. Stay with me and let's explore the flavors of mm. Cebu. Warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. Let's join Romilo at his garden. Hello, how are you today, my friends? Your queen uncle here. Don't go away because uh, during our cooking, I'll be giving you a preview of the developments here at the garden. Yes, Kinarpet Kunan Garden, believe me. <laughs> it from from a forest, from a natural forest field. It's now a park. Yung nagagawa ng lockdown. But let's start cooking. We're cooking something very familiar to the Cebuanos. Tinoa. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, or to us, Ilocanos, it's just, uh, we would just describe that as Sinigang na walang sampalo. We'll be doing that today because we are at the garden, walang sampalo. That explains why. <laughs> but first, if you are in the temperate regions of the world, you should know this. Rhubarb. I'm gonna use it to give my soup a bit of sour flavor. Just a bit. How about cooking rice first? Yeah, right? That's the uh, standard procedure before working on your ulam. Work on the rice so that while your rice cooks, you have the time to leisurely uh, prepare your ulam, diba? I have to look for my pagbagasan. Oh, there it is. Ito lang ang aking bigas. Hindi ka nag-iisa na wala ng relief o oh, ito lang ang aking bigas. <laughs> I'll be cooking just one cup. Yeah. This is the most difficult, balancing water with the quantity of rice when cooking very small amount. <laughs> Apologies for the mess of you, that's from the roof camera. Never again. Thus ingenuity, I don't have a, a lid for my caldero. And let's start with our tinodang, is that? I have here my basket. Let's see what I have here. New abasto, that's rice for the coming weeks. And here, I've got a salmon, salmon, tomato, and onion. Plus, oh yeah, I'll be using uh, spinach. I don't have kalamunga here, so I'll be using, or marunga, I'll be using spinach. I have to, I think, get spinach first. The beauty of having fresh vegetables. Just a few uh, feet away. Our rice is almost dry. Let's start preparing our tenola. I just realized I don't have oh, no, ginger here. No, I have. Very small. I hope this still works. It's almost dry. Didn't do this at home. The lighting condition is not ideal here in my shed. I'm thinking of making a window or cutting out a window. There's no electricity here. It's really primitive. 
this is off grid. That's why I'm cooking with gas from the tank, not from the lines. I hope you agree with me that this is one of the most, uh, or one of the easiest uh, fish recipe. Just uh, add the onion, the tomato, and the uh, ginger to water and boil. How easy can that be? For our watchers in North America and Europe, yes, you can use rhubarb for sinigang. It's sour. That's why it's always mixed with sugar to make confiture. Use it. This is usually used for making jam. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to give a like or give us some comments, your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload, every Friday. And if your preference is travel, places, events, and culture, watch My Barrio, My Mundo. Let's add some salt, it's not boiling. Yes, it's really sour. <laughs> it tastes like sinigang sa manga instead. Mm -hmm. Let's add the fish now. Where's the fish? Oh, here. Just one piece <laughs> of fish. This, 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 this is a slice. I won't be adding all this. I'll bring home the rest. Let's taste it. It's a bit blunt. Some fish sauce. Yeah, that's more like it. It's cooked now. How about eating outside? This may not qualify for a very attractive Instagram picture or even for a thumbnail, but thank you for joining me today here at Maidampa for this simple lunch. Tinoa with some uh, new uh, twists for uh, Pangasim. I can invite you to stay longer for lunch because I only have one piece, but there are sweet sounds, sweet chirping of birds they were staying really so thank you for joining me today here at the garden and i hope to have you again next time perhaps from the kitchen as we bring you more pinoy food or food from the homeland share it and give me a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified every time we have a new uh, post here on Channel 4. Joseph Patin.